and welcome back guys so here we are back with we'll be thank you for and i guess you know without any you know this is not top table uh i believe it's about mid table but as promised we went and looked for a muna and a bravo sec and here we are bravo um, bravo some muna to be fair we did not repair till we get the right results we and they are the both right. Potentially in the top cut, depending on who wins this on who wins this round, so obviously. We can cover a few bits of stats while they slowly get started. The Bravos deck is a fully equipped 15 rares, 3 uniques deck. The Mooner list, however, is not. Only 9 rares, 3 uniques. Oh, 9 rares. Uh, I believe. No, he does have Kickstarter cards, so he did have at least a Kickstarter display. His uniques... Are definitely plant orientated. That is a low cost Mowgli that just straight up wants to see plants, but it's four in plant or green. Four, one, one, two cost. If I control two or more plants other than me, target character gains one boost. It's the typical. Uh, I'm, I'm just surprised to see three Hydrakina, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's, it's not even the rare, it's only the common. It's a common. Yes. I would not play the common. With the common. It is a Taija Naura. Plants list, so you're expecting everything you would expect from plants. Sneezer shrooms. Anchoring the whole anchoring, time. Anchoring. Uh, Dracanas. Hydrocanas. Hydrocanas. I've got to... I checked on the spelling for this. It's Hydrocana? It's Hydrocana. It's, it's a, kinda. It's okay. a weird, weird... Uh, Although technically it's French, so we should say with a French accent. I can't do a French accent. You can't do... Oh, there's... We have the first one already. The Gudama is down. No, oh, straight in, straight up. So here we go. <laughs> they got instantly their favorite. I think their engine, like a tiny Jin and Kudama. Yeah, both decks going out on the aggressive. Here. Oh, there we go. Is that a helping hand straight away? Yeah, it is. Yes. He wants. He wants to ramp his mana. So both decks flying out the gates. A Kodama straight down, and I believe that's the tiny whatever what, what, I know what it's called. Spindle harvesters. There we go. Trying to cheap one out against his opponent. He's not taking that though. No, he was like, no, no, I want to quickly get higher mana than you. So the Kodama, I believe, but it's the common, so I just want to clarify, because I personally play the rare. It's only one no no, he's got two copies and he does play a rare. Is that the rare? It's not. It's the common. So the common is just a 333, starts to sleep. It's been buffed by Taija's effect. So it'll be 444. But otherwise it doesn't do anything else. The rare, I believe, buffs itself. Or is it buff does it buff itself? No, it has a bonus effect where a target character with hand cost three or less. Uh target character with hand cost three or less gains anchored. We like to see oh, on card. So here straight, we have we're going straight really aggro, real aggro. So that is the axiom scramble. It's boosted. It then will be two four two on entry. If you control one or more landmarks, up to one target character gains asleep, and you can have it gain two boosts. No landmark, no trigger. When I go to reserve from the expedition zone, you may pay one if you do sabotage. Also currently ineffective. But there we have helping hands on Tracer, so that's a two boost with the help of the hero, and it loses fleeting. So they both advance one. This is going to be a fast game. They're going to beat the living tire out of each other like this. They are just pounding into each other. Yeah, they're not giving me time. No. That unique was definitely played only to just be aggressive and not really trigger any of his effects. Yeah, totally. Pretty card though. I guess we're not going to see the Hydrokina at all. I don't think so if it goes this way, with this speed. See, I'm a huge fan of the Hydrokina card. I have two uniques of it. You have two? I have two! Holy. The one's not even close to good, and the other one's okay. That's kind of sad, hearing unique and saying, like, okay. Yeah, it comes with base tough, too, instead of having to... It's other version of the effect where it has to where it's tough based on something else. Yeah. So it has base tough too, and then it boosts itself or something else for three boosts every turn. Ooh, looks like the unique removed the tracer. Yeah, that did in fact happen. Result correctly. Because it left the expedition zone. And everything leaves the expedition zone together. 
Yeah. Therefore, trigger. There's something there for it to grab. So maybe it wasn't played in complete aggro, but it made sense. It makes sense, but uh, it was just like seeing... I think he wanted to get rid of Helping Hands, but then it's like, okay, Tracer, and then another unique. Then again, I'm a fool. Bravo's Tracer, of course, gains fleeting on its own. He used Helping Hands. Oh, yeah, to remove it. To remove it and yeah. get it and another... Then, and... To get another <laughs> aggro for 3 3, three. But Here we have another unique, right? That's the... God damn. damn just, just flying. What's going are on? Are they throwing all the uniques? That's got to be Inari. Inari. At dusk, up to one target character with hand cost three or less, other than me, gain anchor. And he's got to play something else to make that worthwhile, but otherwise yeah, it's a three zero two with a boost. So four one three. And then just from reserve, you can just, you know, sacrifice Does he have enough mana to get for one less. No, but they know there'd be no. Mm. No, that's it's not enough. True. That's enough. That would be enough. That's enough. Yeah, yeah and then yeah. you anchor the Kodama. Sleep. Oh no, it's from hand sleep. Only right? from hand Only sleep. Only from hand yeah. because it's a common. I don't believe that Rare even does it from um, reserve. No? Uh, I don't know. I don't play Muna. My wife plays Muna. Yet yeah, she's brought Axiom to the table. Yeah. I'm a Muna fan, so I'm I'm gonna go and look down on the fact that she chose to play Axiom over Muna. You know how contradictory that is? Axiom, like the steampunk looking faction versus the nature built. See where I'm getting Ooh. there? Yep. There it is. Is that Pain Prison or is it Mana? Mana. It's, mana. it's the Mana, 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 Mana. The rare eruption. one. Discard one of your Mana Orbs, discard target character or permanent. He's even playing the rare one. So they've moved each one across. No? Did we freeze? We froze a little bit. We froze a little bit. Yes. Like you said, our internet is unfortunately not that stable. We are hoping to return to power soon. We're hoping to return to power. Give me power. Oh, let's see. And also, I don't know. I think we're a little bit back. There we acrylic go. is really difficult to see where they are. Yes, I'd like to point out that that is the premium adventure track that a player has brought on. We don't currently have one for the stream. I have one on order. It would have been used for the stream had it yet arrived, but Game Genic is being very... Okay, he Do played. things as they wish. Oh, uh, but that's kind. That's kind to put it so we can see it. It's... But we I kind of figured. To, I did ask them to. At the but they kind of figured that it's going to be the, the landmark. Uh, I believe it's Bountiful Meadow. Yeah, of course. He only played one, so a playset. He plays two. Three? Oh, no, it's just two. Just two. Oh, it's one, one. It's one. It's the Kickstarter and the retail. Yeah. And Bountiful Meadow is a fantastic way to get the Hydrokina down from seven to five, which makes it way more potent if you can get it. To that cheap. Because that means it's already alive at turn uh, day four instead of day five. And it gets very big very quickly. Uh, to be honest, like day, day four, you could... it's already difficult to get rid of something that big. And then if you just need to leave for two turns. It's probably the only boss card that's technically playable. At that high I did level. Think I, tried to... long, maybe, maybe. I did also try to play Kraken for the fun. In a Lindy deck, yeah, maybe. I would probably still be okay with the Kraken, but there's not many big costing cards that are worth their money. Are we still smacking frames? We are a little bit. A little. We are hurting the frames at the moment. We are hurting the frames. We apologize for the lag. We are working with what we've got. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot do more than this at the time being. We appreciate your patience. On the plus side, the video should still be in high quality on our, our respective channels after the uh, event is concluded. I have to reverse this one. 
but it did behave itself for two rounds and then it decided to play around a little bit. Thank you, thank you. No worries, nice to listen. At least we try to commentate live with the things we can do. I think that's a advantage. Oh my it's god, we see a son of a Y there. I call it son of the Y. Because... Son of the Y, because you can't say Yggdrasil or what? Oh no, it's just because son of the B word and me are being polite and these are son of a Y. We just be like, you son, son of a... Son of a Y, that is gigantic. No offense, but if someone put that against my board and I'm like, be like, son of a Y is there. So he does play one copy of the rare and one copy of the common. And, and that this is, is the common, common. place. So that is a... It's boosted, so it's gigantic and affects both sides. Therefore, it's 744 to both sides of the board. Oh my god, and for like a five cost. Speaking of that, actually brings me back to the boss card discussion. That's probably the other card you can probably get away yeah, with. Yeah, that, and then for like uh, Ordis or uh, Prophos, then Atlas is also a good one. Yeah. Yeah, one of your graphics for the adventure track has resized itself. It's oh. slightly smaller for some of you. Oh, bloody. I think I accidentally have made it smaller. There you go. He's definitely at this point going to get, but he is also behind. So it does pull him back from being behind. Yes, but the problem is going to be at dusk. At dusk, he has already two in reserve that those are uniques. So he will have to decide which one he's going to keep. And I think it's going to be Son of Y that he's going to keep in. He advanced. He's able he to He must advance. have pulled away. Yeah, Son of still is only super effective in plans and the other two colors are... Okay, he had 4-4 four, four in them, so you can still overwhelm in the one color you need if it's not all of them. So here's... here's no, 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 uh, The companion is on the green, and then the hero Oh, I, next I'm, I, I, I missed up. This is what I meant, it's difficult to see which yeah. one exactly. There's a bit of glare, and they're not using the typical tokens. These are the acrylic tokens as well, so... Um, where are we? So, I'm actually impressed, but I think that the I think Torek went far too aggressive at the start, maybe even for the, the right reasons. Maybe that was the best option he had. I, I think so, and because he's he's he knew he's gonna face up against Pravon, and Pravon's goal just fast. Well, Muna... What's the dance do we have? I mean, the Muna deck is not utilizing all 15 rares as they should. Uh, also, perhaps he just doesn't own the rares he needs to play the Muna list. There's a cloth cocoon to get rid of it. The Bramos deck is very heavily lenient on Earth cards, though. There's a significant attribute imbalance. Oh, whoa. He's only able to pull out about 40 towards the other two, but 57. Oh, yes, one court hand. Will that be a helping hand? Uh, let's see. What is this unit doing? Plus four and effect. Uh, we're talking about Bravos, right? Then let's quick scan. That should be the Lyra Navigator. Uh, just enter the field, gain one boost. Is from reserve, gain three boost. So total plus four boost. Brutal. But that's in its discard pile, isn't it? Yeah, because he got a cloth cocoon. Ouch. I think that's the helping hand. Oh no, Tiny Jin. Tiny Jin. Oh, is not. that a unique one? It is not. No, he oh. doesn't have a unique one. Oh no, it's a rare. Jin, so it'll be the rare. I don't I see a cape, so I assume it was a unique. Okay, so it looks like he's going to lose on both sides here. That's... Bravos ran out of steam just one step too late. Although, on the other hand... Wait, no. No, oh, never mind. Honey Jin is not boosted, so he cannot go to a map. No, he won't go to a map. He won't so gonna just go to a reserve. He only... Yeah, he, he, oh, he advanced on both sides. He so... advanced on both sides. It's going to be a close game now. 
So we'll clarify again. What will happen now is, of course, they will still not a tie break, but it is important to note that if one of the two, if they both advance together, it's going to go to tie break because it will be one advance on each side. So it's either tie break or somebody wins next turn. Yes. Or they block each other on both sides completely. But on this, at this, on the moment, uh, we see the field and the elements. There is another. Muna has a little bit more advantage. If they both advance, but one of them manages to get both of their tokens to advance, they automatically win for advancing further. Further, yes. So it's still all to play for. You can't just completely commit to one side unless you're planning to force a tiebreak, which against Bravos, that could be dicey. Yeah, but the, I uh, put my Bravos is Bravos. a little bit behind, so I think I will put my money on... True, Luna. I would definitely sit there and say that at the moment, Bravos' resources are absolutely spent. Especially since he's missing the the boost from the Haven. Even Bastion, he doesn't have it. Does he even... He, he plays three He plays rare. three rares. got a single one of them out. That's so unfortunate. I believe that's Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera, yes. That's the common one. It is, which is just a noon resupply, so it's at this point just a bead stick. Oh, there it is, talking about the... <laughs> and that is a game changer. changer. He has enough for that. Yeah, this could be... Oh my god, this is... Is that a... Oh god, that's Ogun? Uh, is Ogun, a... Ogun. Plans you control game one boost. Yeah, they all get boost, but that's only aloe vera. That only get boost. aloe vera. So the Pharaoh should get one boost. Is the Atlas going to be a Hail Mary pass? They're competing on from the right side on plant and for water and earth or water and mountain on the left side. Or companion side, I should say. That's three, three, three. Uh, oh, no, Atlas, it's gonna, Atlas will go to 4 4. It's go 4 4 4, and then with the hero boost 5 5 5. Yeah. That's a and big And that's on both sides. And that's a big turn. Might be enough. You'll, you'll definitely get past Ogun that way. He's only got one hand card, no reserve. He's in trouble. I don't think anything 3 costs out of Muna can suddenly just stat up 3 3 3. three. And he only has 3 mana left, so he cannot play a big turn. He's got a. <sighs> What? How much has he got on the other side now? He's going to play Tiny Chains, okay, and a boost. That is a... Yeah, that right there is a... You need to make a move first. He didn't have the Man of Atlas. He has? No, he doesn't have no, it No, he didn't. Anymore. That's why he played the Tiny Jin, because he only has three. You're looking at his deck. Oh, that's his deck. Yeah. Oh. So the you only have four mana. When the Atlas is five... From reserve as no. well, but Sun Wukong is a good answer. Oh, that might, that's going to be just enough to push him over and block him. But it's also, thank God that so it's going to go to the tie break with Atlas in play <laughs> with Atlas on reserve. <laughs> oh wait, wait, did they just handshake? If they handshake, why would they handshake? That's two, three, so they advance on one side. So there he will advance. And Tiny Jin is boosted to three, right? So that should be yes. five across one. He comes up from the other side. So it's just a tie break. It's going to be... Wait, wait. Stop. Stop, stop them. Stop them. Stop them. Yeah. <clears throat> We're just going to double check what's happening with the communication. Um... Warum ist das jetzt vorbei? Wir müssen gucken, weil wir haben an Stream gesehen, dass du kommst einer weiter, like näher kommt auch von dieser Seite weiter. Ja, und dann kommst du an diese Seite weiter, oder? Ich komme schon weiter, ich habe nicht. Er hat ja auch fünf. In Pflanzen. Ja. Ich habe auch nur fünf. Du kommst einer weiter, aber ich komme hier weiter und dann darf man sich da. Ah, so, okay. Ja, ja, genau, genau. Endlich. Okay. Fünf, 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 fünf. Okay, dann ist es klar. Oh, sie. Alles gut. That one character. Uh, what is his name? Did we we miss something? failing math, apparently. So he obviously advances from the companion side. Yeah, That's exactly. clear. Uh -huh. However, 
here on the hero side, they're obviously only fighting for plant. Mm -hmm. He has five, and then he has five. They're blocked on one side. So oh, only they're he, blocked. Okay. So only Torek advanced. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. Well, yeah, it's not like... Because we... Sun Wukong came from the hand, so it wouldn't get any of its boosts, of course. So it was... We just didn't math, and I... To be honest, it's difficult to math when you can only read one card at the same time. Yeah, we can only read so many cards, and... We have to go in the app and check the card, and go back, check the other one. So it's difficult to do the math while commentating. Equinox, we want streaming tools as well, not just judge tools that they don't yet have either. Let us read deck lists a little easier than this. Yeah, so Muna Advance. So that brings them to 3 1. He's one win away from potentially making top cut, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close. close. Very close. But on that note, we're just going to check out how everyone is doing, and we'll be back with Adventure 5.